Cochrane and Dar a Croisa e Gumri. Good afternoon and welcome to Wales. I've been to work today, wrote a match preview for the game this weekend, did a press conference interview with Craig Harrison, the head coach, and that was the final act of work. And so immediately following on from that, made my way to the River Seven, the Upper Seven as well. I do like it. I like the middle and the lower, but there's something special about the upper reaches, isn't there? And when I arrived, I had a little bit of a, a tumble-ish down the bank and my, my chair went into the water. And I can confirm that they float. I thought, that's it, it will be sinking. Floated, got the landing net handle fairly quickly because it was going in the current, although it's very uh, low at the moment and minimal the flow but I still brought it back in and then I did what those people do when they take videos of things and other folks comment why did you bother taking a video why didn't you help out <laughs> well it wasn't quite like that it was just at the side and I'd already got it there so yeah the chairs do do float they still get wet though and what I've done is I've put my unhooking mat on there <laughs> it's very wet at the bottom it's dry on top so that's a pad on top of the chair I've cast out oh was that a little tap there I'm fishing a couple of maggots on a size 14 hook which is my still water approach if you follow my angling blogs on a regular basis and I do okay will I catch the the chub though that I'm after on this particular stretch I do like fishing it, it's very picturesque. You can see there behind me the, uh, the hill there. The river's great, but I do struggle. And I have had a couple of blanks, couple or so blanks on here this football season when I've been coming after work. But it does say to me that it has potential and I need to keep giving it a go. Hence I return. Plus, as I've said, and you can see, it's a great place to fish anyway. Let's see if I can get something on the bank though, this afternoon. At least I'm not a blanker. A nice little fish there, specimen in its own right, caught right at the very end, the last cast, and I was pulling in for the final time. And I will be honest, I didn't even know that I had that one on the hook. But they all count, don't they? Because it was caught fair and square. Anyway, I've certainly enjoyed that, as I do every session, whether I catch big, catch small, or sometimes not catch at all. 